Mabrika, welcome to this new episode of Let's Talk Taino. I'm Priscilla Colon, co-founder and creative here at Casarito, where our mission is to promote the Taino language and culture. So last week, we learned how to talk about what we will be doing. This week, we're going to learn about verbs in the past tense so you can talk about what you did. So to talk about something that happened in the past, you have to follow a simple formula. You have the verb, and then you add a word part, itba, and that creates the verb in the past tense. So let's take a look at some examples of some verbs you already know to compare the present tense and the past tense. Toka, to be. Toka itba, was or were. Moon, to be in or at a place. Moon itba, was, were, in or at a place. Asa, to drink. Asa itba, drank. Now you have a new verb. Eka, to eat. Eka itba, ate. Iba, to go. Iba itba, went. Now let's take a look at a couple of examples together. Daktoka rokotara. I am a student. Daktoka itba rokotara. I was a student. Book moon ani. You are here. Book moon itpa ani. You were here. You see how simple that was? So now we're going to do a similar exercise to what we did last time. So I'm going to show you some scenes and then you'll be able to talk about what you did. The first scene is at the restaurant. You're going to be asked a question and then you will answer with the past tense form of the verb. Katei buk asa itba? What did you drink? Katei buk asa itba sokal? What did you drink yesterday? What can you answer? Dak asa itba yarepo? I drank juice. Dak asa itba yarepo sokal? I drank juice yesterday. In the next question, we'll use the new verb eka to eat. Katei huk eka itba? What did you eat? Katei huk eka itba sokal? What did you eat yesterday? Guak eka itba aros? We ate rice. Guak eka itba aros ota pichu nagu? We ate rice and beans. Guac eka itpa arroz ota pichu nagu sokal. We ate rice and beans yesterday. So, as you notice, I did a little build up so that you could learn some new um, foods. Of course, I eat a lot of rice and beans, so you might find this useful if you do too. The next scene is at the airport. Amana hak iba itpa. Where did they go? Amana hak iba itpa sokal. Where did they go yesterday? Hak iba itpa boharak. They went home. Hak iba itpa boharak sokal. They went home yesterday. You see how cool that was? So we learned some new verb tenses, a few new nouns as well that I threw in there for you, and some things that I hope that you can use in your everyday life. So let's go over the full list of words that we learned during today's lesson. Sokal, yesterday. Toka itpa, was, were. Moon itpa, was, were, in or at a place. Asa itpa, drank. Yarepo, juice. Iba itpa, went. Boharak, house or home. Eka, to eat. Eka itpa, ate. Aros, rice. Ota, and. Pichu, bean. Pichu nagu, beans. So I hope that you enjoyed this activity. If you formed your own Taino study groups, I encourage you to set the scene. You know, you can pull up a picture and then go around the group and take turns talking about what you did yesterday. And now that you know how to talk about what you are doing now, what you will be doing and what you did already, you can have a whole conversation. You are that fluent in Taino already. 
So thank you again for following us. I am so happy that you're here with me, that you're helping bring back Taino. I know together we can do it. If you get the chance, make sure you tell your family, your neighbors to subscribe. And pretty soon, these videos are coming out in Spanish, in Espanol. So please be on the lookout for those. Also, remember, we have some great books to teach kids some Taino words and phrases. That is how we're going to get the new generation to speak Taino too. In the meantime, Taikaraya Guaitiao Nagu.